this time around it's going to be a lot easier because we've we talked about you know timing and talked about like actually coming up with plans and plays and mad dog and all that kind of stuff i'm trying to remember all the stuff that we talked about um but basically once we've checked those boxes at this point in time even if you guys haven't exactly mastered all those skills i can't imagine more about okay what's the next step you know what i'm saying like what would you guys want what are we here to learn for what do you want to get better at um so yeah i guess i'll leave the floor open for you guys what are you guys thinking uh yeah so well okay a couple a couple quick things um first of all we need to work on our sig comp so we played um like circuit circuit is really really bad for us so we need to kind of get better at the macro of that yeah um so this friday is the playoffs for our tournament and if we can win that then we go to arlington for the national championship so nice it's kind of very important that we can round ourselves out the best as possible before then uh, so we, we just got some good gameplay on a couple different maps but what i was going to say was with the new changes i don't know how much you've looked into them but composition wise do you have any idea because we, we don't have to worry about life either. like that's not going to be in yeah the um, yeah. Everything else. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's pull up the patch notes really fast here. Um, okay. So let's just go down the list here. So, what are you guys currently playing on a lot of maps right now? What comps? What, what what's like the meta around where you guys are playing? Um, we were playing a ton of uh, Ryan May. But we've recently, um, I kind of, because I was talking to Alden after looking at the patch notes, and we kind of yep. focused on the monkey, like, Kiri, Ana, like, all tonight. Yeah. Um, and then some Sigs. So those are kind of the composition. For okay. Right okay. I, I do think Ryan and Sigma are going to remain mostly unchanged. I mean, they're definitely, the Reinhardt one, obviously, especially, is, is, is it is a nerf, but it's, it's very, very minor. Um, for me, the biggest change okay so reinhardt not that big sigma not that big cassidy that's big um yeah definitely worth considering that if in case you guys were ever doing any cassidy hybrids with dive or if you were guys were running brawl mirror hanzo's just looking even sexier um sombra is irrelevant essentially anna is minor but definitely worth noting now the interesting one for me is the brig one um it's not really going to change brig's role uh obviously outside of like the comp like i don't think you're going to be playing brig in like all these crazy comps that you wouldn't otherwise be playing the interesting thing to me though is that like i don't know where she's gonna fall because her changes make no sense whatsoever like yeah the comps that you're going to be running Brig in are like poke comps, dive comps, and so on. But the irony is that she's worse at those in some ways. Because the armor pack nerf is pretty big. Um, losing 5 meters on that range isn't like massive, but it is noticeable. And the stuff like making Rally make Brig a lot stronger is like definitely noticeable. But it's not like a lot of value comes from her like using it offensively. But you're not going to be seeing Brig playing like that anyway. So I don't really know what the ramifications of that are. Like that, that would imply like frontline playing Brig and like brawl comps, but you're you're not going to see that. <laughs> like, um, yeah. so it doesn't make any sense. Mercy change isn't crazy. It's like crappy for quality of life, but it's not like wild. It's more for like ranked. Moira one is interesting as well, but I still don't think she's she's going to replace Kiriko or Lucio in any of the dive comps that you'd otherwise play. So I don't. I I really think it's just. I think the main one in terms of like biggest thing right now is the casting nerf. So if you guys yeah. are playing brawl comps, um, thinking about like Hanzo, Ash, Sojourn, you know, and so on, maybe something you guys have to consider. Um, yeah. That besides that, not a whole lot. I would say. I don't know what y'all what y'all's thoughts were as well, because obviously I assume you guys have put some thought into it too. Yeah, I mean, I just think the monkey comp's even a little stronger. Like, it doesn't change too much, but like, it's gonna be easier to play into like a Rhine comp or something. I mean, Rhine lost a little bit of HP, so sure. I yeah. Mean, yeah, it, 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 yeah. It's not massive, but it's something. Um, 
Yeah, I mean it, it, it that that that's that's certainly certainly worth pointing out. Okay. Um what did you guys want to look at today? So you said SIG comps, what else? Yeah, and then, or was it mostly uh, that? Well SIG comps and I'm, uh definitely I would like to do a map um of the monkey Jericho. Sure. Um, just I don't think it would hurt to look at that. Sure. Um well, I mean we could definitely look at that. Um I'm seeing in my DMs here. Uh, Kings, Havana, Circuit. Okay, yeah, seems good. Which one do you want to guys want to start with? Circuit, because I think that's going to take the longest. Cause sure. We're pretty terrible at that map. Okay. So. Do you do you guys want to hop right into it like right now? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I know you guys Four. are pretty tired, so we we'll, won't we'll, we'll waste any time. Todd scrim go. Attackers in. Oh. Uh mostly good. I mean, we're we were mostly trying to win that comp kind of, and we're also coming back from break, so I don't right. think we played our best. But. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, okay, sounds good. So <clears throat> this comp is uh pr pretty basic. Um, the way they look at this comp is really just like timing and mechanics. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, the nice thing is that a lot of teams don't like get the timing thing right. So if you guys are able to kind of figure that out, it definitely gives you a slight advantage in terms of how things are used. Um, the other nice thing about this composition is it's as close to flowchart Overwatch as there is when it comes to cooldown usage. So what I mean by that is like there's not a lot of nuance to how you use your cooldown. So I'm just gonna go quickly down the list. Just if your if your name isn't called, I would still pay attention because it, you're gonna learn something out of this. So Sig, um, what what are you using like your shift? Rock, your shift, rock, shield, what's it used for? Oh, what's it used for? Sure. I mean, really general sense, like, I'm... Sig, for if, sig shift, if I'm like crossing open space or something yep. most of the time, usually yep. I use rock if the sig is like pushing just for sig trades. Yep. Or if the squishies split off. Yep. And then shield just moving cover to cover. Sure. If I'm kind of... Sure, sure. <clears throat> That's a good level one understanding. Let me let me give it to level two. So I'm just gonna throw a bunch. Of, I'm not gonna do what I normally don't do with you guys, and I'm just gonna throw some information your way. So just process it, and then have any questions. So the shift is used for one of two ways. It's either used to defensively, or it's used to get an HP advantage in situations when you know you don't need it. For example, if you see before they turn the corner, or like as they're turning the corner, you see like a bunch of damage being thrown your way, and you're in a position where you can LOS rock. You use your shift to give yourself like a 353 or 400 HP advantage, so that you can peak more aggressively, right? Um, Obviously, the other thing with shift as well is that you need to be saving it when they have flux and window, um, unless you're in a position where you can fully LOS. If you don't have shift as a sigma um, in flux, you can die in flux. So you need to keep that one in mind. Um, the other thing with rock is you saving it for when their sigma is trying to take space is like the obvious low hanging fruit there. But you'll notice as well that <clears throat> um, as depending on the, like the level of sigma that you're playing versus, getting it rolling the dice and like using it on a hanzo bap zen widow anytime that they're pushing uh not generally as much widow um is also really 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 valuable uh that was something that if you were paying attention to a lot of late season owl last season the higher level kaluge space <clears throat> i think it was bernard some of the best sigmas in the world were generally <clears throat> like would fake rocks on the sigma but often like use it on dps a lot of time just because if you can get a hit on a rock on a, on a dps they're usually dead um shield is definitely used for like rotations and stuff but remember shield is also like your cue to be more aggressive with your damage like it's your opportunity to actually spam backlane easier so i treat sigma shield like a mini winston bubble so every time that you use your sigma shield like you're actually using to spam a little bit more that needs to be like called like three two one pressure pressure down Okay, ready, peak, pressure, pressure, like that, That you don't have to be like that micro about it, but it does definitely help for your Zen and Hanzu and Bap especially, because they know that when you're peaking, that the old, if you're peaking here and you're getting good spam out, um, unless their Sigma is shielding you, which he usually won't be, means the only thing they have to worry about peaking is the enemy Widowmaker. Because if you're peaking this here, you're gonna be able to disrupt and, and spam backline just enough to be able to allow your team to peak a little bit safer. So you just need guys need to get on the same timing with that. Does that make sense? 
Yeah. Okay, especially it's especially important if you're turning corners. Like if you guys are like you're here and you're like turning this corner here with six shield and you're not like communicating that, you're trolling. Same thing here. Like that was like the better spam teams and Al were super disciplined. They three, two, one, shield the corner. At the same time, Hanzo's and Bap try to peek so they're not at, at too much of a disadvantage with shield spam. Um Okay, next on the list is Hanzo. So Hanzo, responsibilities, cooldowns, you tell me. Okay, responsibilities, uh sonar. Use it to spot Widow to help Widow duel the yes. other Widow yes. for an advantage. Um, e, I would say mainly for six shield. Um, or try to cheek a little, uh, try to get a little cheesy bank shot. Yeah. On one of the DPS. Um, leap. Use it to reposition, or to dodge other shots. Or mainly just to reposition and all that. Get out if you need to, or play aggro if your Sig goes aggro. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's mostly it. The only thing I would say is Storm is generally slightly better for more important for duels than it is for shield damage. Um, even in sniper duels, uh, but it depends obviously on the range and like who you're going for. Um, but usually the shields break pretty quickly regardless. So you want to make sure that you have your Storm just in case. Like if you get an, if you take an aggressive, for example, if you take an aggressive, like a, an aggressive angle or a peak, you need to have your Storm arrow. Um, that's just going to secure kills like significantly better. Um, the other thing with Storm arrow, it makes it really important sniper duels is obviously it doesn't restrict your movement so if you are caught inducting all your shots versus a sniper comp you're giving yourself you're putting yourself at a disadvantage because you're losing your 80 strafing um bat responsibilities uh so obviously kind of you know pocket the sigma yep a shift yep uh if any of us go down one hp shift get that instant hp back up yep um my passive kind of just shoot sig shield to break it yep 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 what about lamp I mean, just save it for when you need it, mainly for SIG. Right, 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 right. But you need to know what you're using it for, right? So give me some examples. Um, let's see, uh... I, see, I guess in this comp, I can't really get walked on, but, like, if they're focusing a target... Sure, 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 sure. You need to know ultimate stat status always. Like, always. Um, Dragon Flux, Bap Window... Um, the other thing that you need to be tracking is just like you try track ice block and a uh, brawl mirror, you need to track your Sigma shift. Um, cause if your Sigma obviously has shift and you lamp them, you're trolling. If your Sigma doesn't have shift and you don't lamp them, you're trolling as well. So you need to make sure that those cooldowns never, ever, 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 ever stack. If your Sigma gets rocked and dies, it's his fault. It's not your fault. Um, I mean, you have the hardest, basically the most boring job. Uh, you're very limited with what you could do. You can pressure Sigma, you can pressure, your, um, you heal your Sigma. And then if you get the opportunity to, whether it's a safe peak or somebody's under pressure, you can and should peak, but it's just, you're limited with it. That sucks in this comp. Um, yeah. Okay, Widow. Yep. Your responsibilities. Uh, uh, my responsibilities, I feel like, would be one, trying to take the widow duel yep and then just trying to take an angle and pressure sure sure absolutely okay what about your cooldowns uh grapple i use to just as i can escape more than anything then of mine i'd place it for at like somewhere where a flanker would sure. be or on me for like if they have like tracer or sure. something like that sure Sure, sure. We're assuming mirror, so I'm gonna be honest with you. Venomine yeah. could could not be more useless. Um, if yeah. you have literally nothing else better to do, you can throw it like on a window where maybe Hanzo might move through. But it's horrible. It's just useless. Um, for grapple, so this is really important. Obviously, grapple is really important. But when it comes to sniper duels, it's super, super underrated. You um, honestly need to essentially be grapple shotting almost off of cooldown um, in this comp because the sight lines that you're going to be getting are very very limited and you need to be playing completely and only for winning duels so you do not need your grapple defensively almost ever almost ever um the only thing actually you might do is you might grapple for like a really aggressive angle like late on second or late on third um you need to be grapple shotting like as much as you possibly can remember every grapple shot that you do is an opportunity to shift your position but still know where the enemy team is positioned you kind of see what i'm saying 
Um, yeah. And a lot of high level widow duels on this map come down to predicting enemy grapple shots and or using your own grapple shots. Uh, that's why you'll see, I don't know if you guys seen Al a lot, like you'll hate PC defending widows literally just scoping in the sky right here because they know the widow's going to grapple shot. They know their widow's going to grapple shot because it's really good. There's no other reason to use grapple here. So you need to be using your grapple almost off of cooldown um, to set up a different angle. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. A little more specific to this compositional mirror, but really, really important. Okay, uh, Zenyatta? Uh, yeah, just pressure with damage, take soft angles. Yeah. Um, if our Hanzo takes an aggressive angle, I can orb him. Uh, yep. I can discard their tank or something. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Look for five orbs. Yep. Yep. I mean, the obvious answer is like, oh, shoot shield, discord sigma, but like, the sigmas are going to be under a lot of pressure like really regardless of what happens so if you can get like a couple body shots on a hanzo get a discord on widow um you know make their bap have to you know, use this shift or whatever force hit a headshot in their zen so he's forces to pull back and now he can't shoot your sigma shield like it's all about risk versus reward right generally the the best things to shoot are not sigma unfortunately there's not always going to be a lot of things that you can shoot other than sigma so you'll get stuck shooting sigma a lot and that's fine um obviously for you widow is a huge huge problem as is hanzo your head is your head is fat your body is fatter um so like you have to be really really careful but you do need to be kind of paying attention to like timings and and shooting what you can and should shoot so um in terms of ultimates so let's just quickly run down the list here flux what's the goal with flux uh i mean there's quite a few things i like to use it a lot of times just force sig shift and then burn sig in the air because i think that's kind of easiest okay uh, but you can also do stuff like force trank or yep. like i i like using it splitting off their team and burning the one person in the air sure sure that can work that can work i mean really the the goal the, the goal of sigma is to always try and pull somebody other than the enemy sigma um yeah. with flux if you get the enemy sigma you have to make sure that he doesn't have his shift because if he has his shift a lot of the times they won't even need to use lamp um much yeah. less trance because they he just will not die so you need to try and pull if you pull hanzo bap zen or widow um Actually, Zen is one of the worst targets that you can pull because he's just going to trance. But if you get Hanzu, Bap, or Widow, they should die. Just they should just die. Um, yeah. One thing that little tip that you can do for Flux as well is it, it does help to make sure that you break his shield as well because if he's unable to shield, it guarantees that whoever's pulled gets headshot. Um, otherwise, some Sigmas can counter the pull by shielding off their Bap Hanzo. And now keep in mind that they, if they're smart, they're going to know that. I doubt anybody at your level is going to know that, but you can just always look for a squishy. And they should always die. Yeah, you can yeah. force trance, and they should die, and so on. Okay. Um, dragon? Thoughts of the Dragon? Um, dragon, two options, but the first one's more likely what I use it for. Um, you could use Dragon to split uh, Sig from his team, and you could just yep. hard focus Sig. Or um shoot it down a lane to secure like an easy kill or something if yeah, someone's out of yeah position. yeah yeah and the former is almost always going to be what you're going to use it for try and use it to push sigma out of position so that you can set him up for a kill like dragon worst case scenario should always guarantee two things sigma for uses shift sigma has no shield um and then if you do that that then opens you wide open to what what can you do at that point flux flux right or you can Bap window or you can and, and so on right and if they're in a position where you guys can push even a little bit then you can do that as well like even if you don't get a lot out of dragon if you're able to force you know lamp sigma shift shield like if you're able to use the split to control space or force cooldowns it's, it's it's really really good besides that um it's situational you know you will get kills with it but it's just it's not predictable you know um okay back window uh, if they start to take space you can kind of um make them kite back right you're all right all burns and then go for, go for picks. Right, exactly, exactly. Bap window is a lot like Hanzo ult, but it's higher risk, higher reward. Like, there's a real risk if you mess up Bap window, you get nothing out of it but Sigma shift and shield. But oftentimes, he won't have to kite a split from his team. He'll just kite back the same direction he came, and you guys will not be able to actually do anything about forcing shift and shield, right? But if you're able to set it up really nicely, not only will you force a split, but you can also get like one shots and stuff out of that. So Bap window is actually a really important ultimate in this. Um, the one thing you have to keep in mind is that this goes back into 2020. Don't bap window at you know close range when they have flux. Um, dragon's also pretty risky when they have um, uh, windows also risky when they have dragon as well. Uh, it's pretty easy like you, you'll get shut down, you will get fluxed because and then you're gonna get killed in the flux and and so on. Make sense? Okay. Um, 
Inversight? Um, uh, usually I use it for if we're pushing or a retake, sure. and then if the other widow uses it, I use it same time. So then sure. we're on the same playing field. Yep, yep. Nothing really crazy. I will say trying to sink it around your grapple shot is always really helpful as well. Kind of gives you an extra boost in the grapple shot. But besides that, nothing really crazy. Trance. Uh, uh, okay, so. Hey. I actually kind of want your opinion on this. So we yeah. have this play, and it's called the Zach Gambit. And basically, I do this like 9 out of 10 times I have Trank. I'll uh, just sit in a quarter somewhere and hard flank and try to get a pick on a squishy, and then they force Trank, and then we just brawl them. And it, it works like 90% of the time. Um, every once in a while, it doesn't work out. But yep. like, you think... Like, do you think that's, like, reasonable? Or is yeah, that just kind of, I do. Because it I, works a lot. I, I, I think that's reasonable. I mean, it's brain dead, but yeah, it can work. As, <laughs> I mean, if you guys set it up with Sonic and, like, your Sigma's in a good position to push and your Hanzo has an aggressive angle as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm down. Like, like Trance is, I, I think, probably the actually the hardest ultimate to use in this comp. Um, it, it's, it's really hard because yeah. because either your sigma is going to die before you trance him if he mess if he yeah. messes up shift or lamp he's dead anyway right trancing flux only works if just you and sigma are pulled right which is yeah. they're trying actively not to do that and then dragons transable but usually it's like we're playing in such split positions that's really hard for you to do anything and then there's also the fact that there's no like dive heroes so using it for yourself isn't really feasible either um so yeah honestly if you guys want to like roll the dice and just go for that i'm i'm totally down is it like optimal probably not but it, it it's 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 certainly it, it, when i mean optimal i mean like at the highest 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 level but yeah, for yeah. but but for at like honestly even a high level it's probably optimal like i wouldn't be surprised if this act that actually was a good play in owl um much less where you guys are so yeah i'm, I'm down totally down yeah and then uh the only other thing which i don't think we communicate enough is um if they do flex like whether or not we have lamp because i think it's very often i mean at levels that people will trank and lamp the same thing yes and uh, yeah that can become an issue so. yeah 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 a lot of it just depends like you always want to lamp first if you can because it sucks losing zen you know um from the damage uh side of things but it, it really depends okay so any questions guys i know that was a glut of information shoved your way i don't generally do that but i think it kind of helps to set expectations any questions not chief okay hopefully at very least you guys are able to pick like one tip from each of those things and not i'm not expecting you to do all those things but like pick one tip that you guys can actually use because like the prop the, the guys can kind of see a little bit of the problem here is like we need to try and synchronize my sigma peaking with my hanzo peaking whenever i possibly can like my hanzo is sonic tier so even if you guys want to be like elite level communication here you goomba says mom sonic i can't peek at the same time sigma takes that as a cop opportunity to kind of chill and then we try and resynchronize our pressure you guys kind of see what i'm saying um that's not going to land headshots for you necessarily but it's going to help you to win the tank trade which is going to help you land headshots is what i'm saying um does that make sense yeah okay um I will say as well that, okay, that was, see, this is what I'm talking about though. Like, this is why this is so important, right? So like, okay, whatever tank trade right here, but look at this Hanzo, right? So we control the Hanzo, good. There's five orb, but you know why he's five orbed? Because look at what he's focusing on at the same time. Right? Like he's super, super distracted. That's like a mini dive. Um, what you guys need to do, the, the best thing that you guys could do in the meantime is set up micro plays, okay? Um, micro plays are, well, you guys give me some example of a micro plays you could do in a sniper comp. Think about one of your cooldowns and create a micro play for it. Yep. Take an aggro angle. Anybody. I mean, if Sig's walking, I can just say. I'll rock Sig and we can yeah, Let, let's, I'm playing for a rock on Sig, okay? I'm playing for a rock on Cart. Guys, I'm going to Sonic the Widow. If you Sonic Widow, now we shoot Cart, right? Um, I'm Storm Arrowing backline. I'm going for a grapple. I have a good angle on BAP on the backline. Do you guys kind of see what I'm saying? Um, 
Like it, it doesn't even, it can literally be a five orb is literally a micro play. It could be a literally a grapple shot as a micro play, but you guys can like make it uh, so much better by just splitting their attention at the same time, right? Um, just something to kind of keep in mind. Cause like a lot of people get confused with what to do in these, in these comps. Like maybe even you guys felt that today where it's like, it just feels like we just sit here until somebody hits a shot, but you can give your guys direction with what you're doing by just calling little micro plays constantly, like every, every 20 seconds or so. It's the main thing with calling micro plays. Why that's so good is just timing aggression. Yes, yes, it's timing aggression, and it's also like keeping everybody calm, for lack of a better term. Like this is what we're doing. Yeah. This is what we're trying to do. This is what we're doing. This is what we're accomplishing. Right. Um, because the timing is very difficult. Right. It, it it isn't the same as it is with other comps. But if I'm if if my if I as a bap know my wood is going for a grapple shot and I see the Widow grapple, I see my Widow take a shot, I know that I can also peek. You know what I'm saying? I'm more comfortable to peek and do damage to the, even if it's to the Sigma, right? Because I know that their Widow's distracted for that brief moment. You know, it's like, which team is going to actually capitalize off at the time? Because Hanzo, Widow, Zen can't look in every direction at the same time, you know? So you need to try and like capitalize off of that in, in whatever way you can. Um, So like even here, right? Micro play, micro play, micro play, micro play. Hanzo is dead. What can we call here? What should we be calling here? I mean, I'm probably go for sick. Yes, just push sick, push sick, push sick. So if you call that, that means that we're in a better position. Like maybe even my Hanzo here is actually focusing sig shield instead of trying to like roll the dice in the enemy map, you know? Because there's no reason for him not to. Now I'm not gonna lie, you get like oh. your teeth kicked in, bro. Like, I don't even know. Like, uh, I didn't see the Zen bottom left. You cut me off. Right. So you so you got like actually turbo stomped, but at the same time, like this this could have been better executed. I scrub my lamp. I mean, to be honest, yes, but you also had like zero time to react. So it happens. Please don't feed. Please don't stagger. Please don't stagger. Yeah, this is this is bad. This is bad. Um, a lot, a lot of okay. Let me, let me kind of break this down for you guys. This is another like really pretty simple fix for you guys. Is the off angles matter here? But as soon as you rotate to here, there are no off angles. Nobody holds this corner, especially if you don't have your sigma. It's generally sigma. We play this corner here, and then we rotate for one final fight here where we set up off angles. Um, you're, Zach, you're done. You're cooked. <laughs> you, you are cooked. <laughs> But like even here, we can set up like a, a micro play because you see they're not being very smart about it, are they? Look at their sigma, look at their bat, right? There's a huge disconnect with what's happening here. This Hanzo might actually die. All right. Ah. Oh, no. yeah. We're so close. Like we're at a point in time now, like where we can just we can just chill. You know, we can just chill. Like play the line, right? Like look, like who should win the the, the shield trade right now? Us, right. Dude, there's there's Sigma's LOSing. He's broke the line. Hanzo, Bap, Zen, Widow don't have good LOS in our shield. We should be winning this, and we're, we're peeking around the corner. It's unnecessary risk. Nice shot. Um, okay. We need the chill. We need the chill. We need the chill. We need the chill. Because, like, again, here, it, it comes back to micro plays, right? So, like... Push, 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 Right, 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 surely. You guys see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Because, like, in theory, this isn't even that bad of an idea. It's fine. It's playing to your strengths, but we're just not there yet. And then even now, it's, like, no BAP LOS, and now we're, like... Like, this fight is, like, no way we even lose this, and we're fixing to lose an unlosable fight. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's not a whole lot to say there. So, I mean... It's, we, we've talked about this before, right? It's the timing, it's the timing, it's the timing, and it's finding ways to interpret that in the sniper duels. If you see an opportunity for a micro play or a peak, grapple, sonic, lunge, storm, rock, push, whatever, call it, call it. We'll set it up, we'll play around it, we'll make it work. Make sense? Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this guy's, this guy's, oh my, oh, 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 oh my, what? You guys are about to get DQ'd before you even get to Arlington. <laughs> okay, so like let's 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 uh let's establish our, our fight plan here. What do you guys think? Because this is obviously old economy that we've never really talked about before. Um 
because a lot of it okay, let me let me give you one life hack okay before i turn it over to you a lot of the way this works is it's not flow chart overwatch a lot of it depends on the part of the map that you're fighting on with what ult you want to use like what ult is really op for defenders right here look at the enemy backline's positioning flux flux right you flux every there's nowhere for them to hide they're dead goodbye okay what ult is really pretty mediocre in this position for defenders no. yeah window dragon dragon especially is pretty weak but yeah both mm -hmm. of those really so then prio is flux right now we track they have trans window so what should the plan be right now Um, to build flux and flux. Who? Whom? <laughs> the Hanzo or Sig? Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. Hanzo. So how do we force? How do how do we kill Sigma if we're gonna flux Sig? We're gonna force his. Easy. How do we force his shift? Puppet damage. Pup, yeah, exactly. We could even call a micro play. This goes back to our micro plays where everybody let's focus Sig Discord Sig. I'm gonna go for like a little rock push on him to see if I can just force this thing. Because the other thing too is it's like you know Sigmas have that muscle memory. They see you miss a rock, they're gonna shift, right? Because they think, oh, free HP, right? And then you flux them. You see that? Um just a microplay. Microplay. Like we could pop our infrasight too, that's fine. Everybody focus Sig, force shift, we flux. He dies. Or we could try and catch Hanzo. So let's see. There is shift. We should be fluxing right now. Oh, I guess we just don't even need to. Now we've got two people hacking. Yikes. Uh, by Goodbye. the way, this is the micro play when we were calling ults, but Zach just isn't interested. Do you see do you see this, right? How does my how does my widow hit the shot? Watch it. Obviously good, right? But then even from my Hanzo. Right? You see how you guys are set up like this really nasty crossfire here? And everybody's kind of peeking it at once. One, two, three, four. You see that? That's yeah. a cool little micro play. You guys didn't do it on purpose. You don't even need to do it on purpose. Just call like I want to play. I'm, I'm peeking and peeking, you know? This is good. This is good. It's not fancy at all. It's just we peeked on different angles at the same time. But that's that's what we want. Like, cause you can't if you're thinking, oh, we were, we're holding it, we're gonna hold an off angle as Hanzo Widow. But when you say you hold an off angle, you, it doesn't mean that you stand there 100 percent of the time, right? Yeah. You have to back off in a sniper comp. You have to like peek and then recharge your shot, or then oh no, that would have saw me, so I have to back off. So there's you can hold an angle, but you can't just sit there like you could in like a brawl comp and just stand there and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. And shoot. You have to actually synchronize pressure and then stop the pressure and stop over and over so it's all about timing those the, those peaks okay so we already know our, our our win con here so like let's just see if we were if we do anything else let's see what we do again it's gonna be about forcing sigma shift or, or playing to another micro play there's the back window what should we be doing immediately right now if we're if we're ult, like playing this properly ult wise flux flux why because you can um you got BAP and SIG right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Anytime you see BAP window, it should be a trigger. Um, because you know that BAP is in a position to window, which means he's, he's in a position to get flux. Now, he might rock you. Just flux. Just flux. Yeah. Yeah, they're cooked. Oh. <laughs> now, I have a prediction. Yeah, see, we didn't know Flux was happening. You see it, right? You don't need to call every ultimate, but I do think Flux you need to call um, ahead of time. Just because, remember, this is where we need to be looking at, right? And both of our snipers are not looking there until it's like already too late. Does that make sense, guys? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it did. But... So I'm trying to give you an out. I'm trying to say it's not your mechanics. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, you, you weren't even peeking. You're not even peeking. It's not your fault. Just so, oh, 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 you're saying that you called the flux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Your, your snipers suck, then. I'm pretty good. These, these guys are hacking uh, and, and they're just straight up trash at the same time. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Watch the next VOD, bro. I, I swear to God he didn't call it. Oh, jeez. Okay. I oh, don't know. It's, re it's recorded, so. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. We're all losers here. Um, I'm going to believe Alden. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>
but yeah you see you see how like that should have been like a one and done you know instead we get like a big must now like honestly it's not bad because they used all their ults too so it, it like uh dude if this shot was actually nasty though i'm not gonna lie yeah, any shot that would kill you would have to be nasty i'm sure <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, yeah that was nasty, huh? That was nasty. You just took a strict one v one against the Hanzo, point blank range. Okay, it looked it looked nastier from my point of view. But but Don't this is what. The, but okay, by the way, is what is wrong? What is wrong with the Zenyatta picking a Hanzo right here? You guys tell me. Um, he can shoot you. You can't shoot him. Right, right. Where else does this Hanzo have to think about? Nothing. Nothing. That's the problem, right? When you guys peek a Hanzo as Zen or peek a Widow as Zen, fight dirty. Have an advantage, right? Have like, there's a Sigma angle, there's a Widow angle, he's maybe distracted with this, or I have a Discord. This is just a strict 1v1. So I'm not saying never peek a Sniper as a Zen. You need to. You're, you're going to peek them. But it needs to like actually be a reason behind the peek, right? That was just a strict 1v1. That's playing fair. We don't play fair in Sniper duels. You never play fair. You always fight dirty. That's boring. Well, that's what the best players do. So suck it. I'm I've, I've literally watched. I'm 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 I literally I'm, I I've said, I always bring this up whenever we talk about sniper duels. Playing, watching ons on Widowmaker and Gibraltar back in like 2021 or whatever or 2020. I don't remember 2022 whatever. The guy was like a freaking psychopath. Like you never mm. knew where he was. You never knew where he was. He fought dirty every single time, and that was with his mechanics um that's that's the thing it's like you always fight dirty you always be under that's why i was talking about the grapple shots right like you fight dirty always put them at a disadvantage now microplay right well who's our, our focus right here sigma now you can actually sigma. see that this has a lot of potential because look at shy guy i'm just sorry i'm not calling you shy guy what's your name again alden alden okay shy yeah i'm not doing shy. okay so you can see like <laughs> look look at your ult charge here you see 90 percent so this Sigma is going to get his shift for us if we're actually calling and communicating this. Let's see what we got. Very good. We don't hit that. There's the shift. Here comes the flux. There's the, we even get the lamp. There's the rock. Oh, we don't even need it. <laughs> you guys are I love rooting this VOD review. <laughs> I love the build. No, no, no. I love the build up just to disappoint. Oh, we don't need it. <laughs> okay. I will say this, though. This is not bad. That being said, if you know that like you force shifter, it does mean that there's a little bit a less of a reason to take a risk. You guys kind of see what I'm saying, right? Um, I'm not saying don't take peaks. Like you, you need to have like like you need to be taking angles and like I think deep, aggressive DPS is always better. That being said, it's like when you know that you have you've just like right now. This is like uh, like the Hanzo voice line, coincidentally. You are already dead. The enemy said that. Like, he's, it's over. Like, they've, they've, they've lamped. He's used his shift. His shield is broken. Um, freaking shy guy has already has basically, like, full shield, you know? It's over. Like, this, they've, they've lost this fight. They've lost this fight. So, we don't need to go for anything crazy. We just flux the sig, and, and then we, he dies. So, okay. Now, okay, I'm so tired of talking about Flux. Let's just pretend that we don't have Flux here, okay? Um, and also, let's pretend that, that Kiefer's on Widowmaker. All right, how do we win this fight? No Flux. Flux them. <sighs> I don't know. I think it says we have Flux there, so I think we yeah. Flux them. Uh, oh, we my here. gosh. Wait, Little... well, we, can, we can let them walk up, and then we have Window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where would you Window? Uh, okay, do you see where the... Like, the Oh, this Checkered line, yeah. Do you see the blue? Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with you. Okay, what were we going to say? No, nah, you see, like, the blue line, like, the, the blue, like, you see what I'm Between yeah. the palm tree and the little bushes? Yeah, yeah, that, that. Yeah, yeah the yeah, little glitchy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about, like, here. Yeah. Yeah, you could, you could like, window more up there. So yeah, you could. A yeah, you could. Dude, it you could. Like it, depending on the quality of rotation as well, you can also window here. Like, if they're rotating, like, here, you window, I guarantee you it's lamp and trance. Guarantee. Um, and then from there, it's like, okay, well, they're going to flux, but we're going to have trance by then, and then we'll have, you know, infrasites and, and so on. But you have a lamp advantage, and this, but yeah, okay. Um, now, considering they don't have that stuff, I hope that we're considering just a flux. Yeah, this is, this is... This is free. Oh, we you guys it, suck at this video game. <laughs> I'm upset. Put me on Widowmaker. I couldn't see him. But that's the problem with how. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 
This guy is playing <laughs> Connor. What is so freaking Minecraft dungeons, looking through the deepest, smallest crack, and no wonder you, you couldn't you see You said him. play dirty. <laughs> Come on. There's not even a widow on the enemy comp anymore. Oh you did say gosh. play dirty. You did say play dirty. I think that's pretty dirty. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. There's the difference between dirt and trash. <laughs> okay, this is okay, I don't know, man. Right. Some people say trash is dirt and dirt is trash. <laughs> yeah, true, 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 true. But I never felt dirty after a romp in the grass. I don't know about you guys. It's it's like okay, never mind. Oh. This is not gonna work. Yeah, see but see like okay. I don't know I don't know, uh Widow got a new ability. What ability? Oh, Sojourn. Oh, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. A little, I'm a little slow. <laughs> it's okay, you're sick. You have an excuse. Yeah, true, true, true. I mean, this is this is okay, like, in terms of timing here. Like, you look at, like, um, like, like, this, and then this. No, this looks okay. I think, I just think, if anything here, maybe we can be a little bit braver, you know? Um, I mean, by braver, I mean everybody but Waligi, but Waluigi. <laughs> yeah. How do you even pronounce it? Waluigi? Waluigi? Wa 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 Mario? I know! It's like, Waluigi, I've never, bro. I've never heard it pronounced. I don't know how. It's Waluigi. You should oh die. <laughs> I want to actually find out what happens here. I don't want to just like, you know, joke around. What happened here? I'm pretty sure I pressed shift. So Hanzo kind of feeds in terms of aggression. You just need to rotate back this way if you could. Not across out in the open here like, like an idiot. That would be helpful. Um... <laughs> Then they press the BAP window, but most of the team is not even there, so that's helpful. We mirror BAP window. He misses rock. He just feeds their widow. Tr they, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. He fluxes, and then yeah, they just, they just really trash timing, just garbage timing. Like you guys are actually down one, but they were actually down three for like the vast majority of that fight. Like their Hanzo Zen are not even there. And by the time they get there, they get ahead. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so nothing you guys did. Sombra, all right. Winston, Kirikov, surely this will work. Um, yeah, I don't really care about this, to be honest. I don't think you guys are likely to see this again. Um, any questions so far? Uh, no. So, uh, no. Okay, so 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 uh, what, what what are the main takeaways, like the actionable stuff that you guys can actually execute within like a few days without having to like practice it a lot? What are the main micro takeaways? Plays. Micro plays. Calling out what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I think micro plays is just the big one. And then just having a little bit of guidance about, you know, don't bap window into flux at point blank range. If you're using your flux and you can only get Sigma, try to force a shift ahead of time. Just little things like that, probably a big return on investment. Um, do you guys want to look any more at this, or do you want to move on to the next map? We can move on to Monkey. All right, sounds good. I don't want to overload too much. One quick question. All right, okay. Zach, are we looking at the, uh, is it Havana? Are we looking at that map at all or no? We, I mean, we can. It's probably going to be like the same. We ran the same exact thing. Yeah, except... It's, uh, I mean, yeah, playing sick comp versus into, like, monkey comp. I, I feel like I struggle a lot on sig, but I think that's mostly because I suck with his shots. I mean, it's hard. It's up to y'all. What do you guys want to look at? You can do a little bit of both if you want to. I, I'm yeah, fine with looking ranked. at the other ones. I'm pretty sure most of just my struggle is just hitting my shots. Right. Wait, listen, this is off topic, but you play versus AI? I can explain myself. <laughs> so Easter, my brother was over and he was like, yo, we should try Overwatch. So he's never like played it before. So we were playing versus AI and he was um yeah, it was yeah, that was that was the excuse. See normally to play versus AI I just queue up rank. That's funny. I was gonna make an <laughs> make an equip similar to that, but about you you guys and scrims, but I yeah. um okay, so okay. I assume you guys are relatively new to this comp and you just copied because of Overwatch League. Somewhat, yeah. yeah, yeah, you and everybody else, you guys are like literal IRL NPCs. Um, hey, not me. Listen, listen, I'm I, I'd rather I play this me. than May, okay? Okay, I think May's fun. You're, I, I think May oh, you're Overwatch weird too is fun. I don't no, know, um, no, you're boring. I, I, oh, you're boring. I'm sorry, you're boring. I think you're boring. May, you don't even you don't sit there and freeze Ryan anymore. You have to like you actually have to like hit shots and land creative walls and stuff. It's like a lot more fun. Uh, that's not what I do. That's Wall, because you suck at left May. click. 
<laughs> Wall, left Skill click, issue. freezing Ryan. Skill That's issue. it. That's Skill all issue. I do. Skill it's issue. boring. All right, so how do y'all play this comp? Like, what are the quick adjustments that we can make here? What are the what? what, what quick, quick. Well, first off, why on a Kiriko? I can't wait uh, for you to answer here. Okay, well, everybody, I answer. The team has said, like, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll. So basically, Zach Kiriko is really good. He's very mechanical. With um him on, with me on Ana instead of Lucio, he can um not only just heal, but he can DPS more, become a third mm -hmm. DPS. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. Wow. I mean, I mean it. I feel like it's a good kind of like mixture between like poke and like uh dive. Yeah. With with Ana and Sojourn, especially you have really good dive, and with like Chaser, Kira, you have really good poke. Right. Right. I mean, just think. All you have to do is think by analogy to solve it. Right. So when you play on a brick, what does the brick do in dive? I babysit the Ana. You, you you peel. That's pretty much it. You peel the Ana and you enable the DPS, right? Kiriko does a little bit worse at peeling the Ana, but a lot better at enabling the DPS. And she can also put up more direct threat herself. Versus the comp that you're playing, you don't need peel on Ana. You need only enabling in my DPS and solo DPS carry yourself, right? So it makes no sense to play Brig versus this. Even in the dive mirror, if you're starting in defense and you're confident that your Ana has a pretty powerful starting location, and the, the basically your entire job is just to mark their divers, right? Um, then why would you on earth would you play Brig and not play Kiriko? Um, the only time that you'd play something like a Lucio would be when you would need to move around or rotate or push. Like if, like say if this was a dive mirror, I'd probably like Lucio on attack, right? Just because there's going to be more active rotations and movement. But if you're already set up on defense, Kiriko's great. Now versus their composition, Kiriko's way, way better, right? There's no reason to do anything but enable your DPS. So what is everybody's role? Let's let's go through really quickly. What does an engage, let's, let's, let's make this easier. What does an engage look like for you guys versus this comp? And it, like a dive optimal engage. engage optimal engage perfect the star is aligned and everybody in their team dies how does it happen um on rotation i'm tickling them okay. we have surgery we have a good nade john's shooting them and zach's on like an off angle yep yep yep, yep 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 now my first question here is why zach why are you not with your tracer here uh i should be but me and him i think just have very different levels of aggression so i usually just like take the counter angle okay it's kind of like okay pinch. well the reason why i like you with tracer is is not just because oh you could be healing your tracer while you're also damaging but the other thing is as well is that your position here you don't do enough damage you know what i'm saying yeah. you yeah. need to the re a lot of times the reason why you play with your tracers because your tracers position is also positioned where you can actually do damage yourself like this once they rotate through here like spamming through like you can see it right here right this matters so much more than what you're doing. If your Tracer wanted to play, like, let's say your Winston wanted to play here, and your Tracer wanted to play, like, here, and then, like, off-angle from here, you'd probably off-angle from here as well. It's a little close, but you get the idea, right? Um, yeah, you yeah. need damage behind shield. And I think even if this was a dive mirror, your job would be to mirror, like, help your Tracer win the Tracer duel. That's how you peel off yeah. your Ana. Um, if this was spam dive, it would be, okay, can I set up a dive on their snipers with my Tracer? And so on. You get the idea. Um, yeah, now that's pretty much it. So we do hit them on rotate, but I think our Kiriko position could have been better so that we could have hit them harder. We don't get a kill there, but we force a cooldown. Who knows? This is this is this is attractive right now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is this is quite this is quite nice. I'm not gonna lie. This really? is yeah, this is really good. Oh my oh, I said yes! Yeah. I love this guy oh, so much. Just, just I love Spyler so like, much. Dude. Okay. I love him so okay. much. Okay, okay. Well you guys what 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 okay, I wanna hear what your initial qualms are. What do you not like? About this? Yeah. Um, I haven't hit a nade yet. Well, I'm just going to guess. I'm just going to say I like our setup. I think the only thing I would be upset about is timing. Okay, could be. Yeah. I mean, you guys see how this works. My Ana should have LOS on Monkey, should have LOS for Nade, should be untouchable. My Sojourn has a good angle. My Tracer should have an angle on the backline, and my Kiriko not only has an angle onto my Tracer and backline, but it can also heal my Monkey if necessary. Like, theoretically, the stars align here, right? Yeah. But not but Diddy Kong just gets Diddy Kong gets his head blown off. I will say this. 
little couple th this is a, a question of timing right and it's also a question of micro okay probably didn't need to use e there i want i, want, I do not want e use it predictively i want it to be used reactively right um make sure that something has been committed right now e needs to be used right um the other thing as well is that until your monkey gets focused you you don't need to be taking any risks at all I mean, for crying out loud look at your monkey's hp you see that mm -hmm. so don't i wouldn't even bother peeking here the other thing yeah. is something that you guys brought up earlier yeah this is this is garbage <laughs> You have one job. I mean, almost literally, you you literally almost, versus this comp, you literally almost only have one job and you don't even need to hit a fat mate. You can hit literally like one person, like Hanzo or Bap. Even Maeve to force block is fine. This is, this is, the sleep, I'm not happy about either, but it's less egregious. But yeah, I mean, really, truly, like I can, this is probably the worst error out of this entire engage. Respectfully, this is the biggest issue. And now, do you how, what's what SR do you play on at? Masters. Okay, see, this is why teams don't run on Akiriko a lot. Um, unless you've got you know Violet Shoe backline. It, you know what I'm saying? It's not bad. I mean, Masters is fine, but just hit the nade. If you want to simplify it for yourself, hit the nade. Hit the nade. Don't feed. That's your entire job. Hit the nade when they actually do something. Does that kind of make sense? Yep. Okay. Because you guys can see this, like this is, this is, this is, like, this is chaos. I would also like my monkey to focus Batista, not Reinhardt. That would also be very helpful. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's whatever. But you guys can see, like, even despite being down one, this, this, this feels horrible for them. Like, like horrible. That you guys still might win this. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. You guys could have given another tick. Okay, yeah. I mean, it, it's not that deep, guys. It's not that deep. Um, is this the, the the setup that you guys want to look at? Defense? Uh, I think we probably struggled on offense a little more. I mean, I don't uh, know. Would you guys agree or no? Uh, no. Okay. I think, well, we get rolled until third point, so... Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's this, true. this, this by the way, this is this is the coward's way out, Zach. Mm -hmm. This playing with your team. This is like, oh, we're getting run over. I need to kill uh, my team. Uh, well, yeah. you've just guaranteed that your team's going to lose now. Like, there's you, you, you don't do enough healing that the Ana doesn't already do to counteract this. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like the only way that you can prevent your team from getting run over is if your like your tracer plays with like balls of steel and doesn't care about doing anything and their hans is like 24 7 turning around with baptiste you know what i'm saying yeah yeah like you're just not going to heal your winston enough to make this work like holy macro well well here's the thing um we ended up backing out because zach wasn't there so the, uh i don't want to give zach an excuse but oh, that's probably why he's oh, been with the team oh, oh. Good catch. Oh, yeah, see, see, yeah. see. Okay, but but it, but what we can do is we can use this as like a teaching moment of like this. This is a good example of like why this doesn't work because Zach isn't set up right. Yeah. That being said, this guy sucked until. Oh, oh, oh! Just and it <laughs> and it wins you guys the fight. It wins you guys the fight. <laughs> that was a really nice nade. And that was not an easy nade to land either. Perfectly timed. And I also really like the position as well. Because the only way that you need die to these comps, at least as a uh, backliner, is, is on the floor, you know? Um, I guess Hanzo log as well, but yeah, this is good. I will say at this point in time, like everything needs to be trying to set up Zach so that he's playing with Tracer. Like as much as, as fast as you possibly can. And I, I always say Tracer because I think that's like a good general guideline. But honestly, Zach, like if you find a solo angle by yourself where you're like, I can get a lot of damage away from my Tracer, that's okay too. You just got to think that it's playing with Tracer is always like a slight buff, right? Because it just allows your Tracer to play a little bit more aggressively. Yeah, yeah. Um, Questionable because you don't have your Tracer and you don't have like a flank. So I don't think this works, to be honest. Maybe it does. Maybe. Tracer's here now. Yeah. 
And if you have Suzu as well, Zach, like I'm focusing a lot on our Kiriko here. There's really no reason for you to be here either. Okay, you don't have Suzu. But honestly, it might even still be worth a TP. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I, since I didn't have Suzu, I was like, if I go in and I get focused on Maybe. You're thinking Dive Mirror too much, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they have the mobility and the cleave to be able to punish you for that. This comp doesn't. Um, you can Winston Bubble Dance, and it's really hard for anything to actually kill you outside of maybe Lucio. Meanwhile, you're standing in front of a window boosted backline and a Ramacha. You know, it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know what to think here, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm not sure what the play here is. <laughs> like, uh, well, like, I was going to go up there go for an anti, but then... I, I, well, that's that. what I'm saying. Like, I assume that you guys are going to, like, hard push on this choke with... Will, will, oh, I'm, nope. Um, with our Ana landing a nade here, and then Kiriko taking heal bot duties for this one fight. And then maybe, like, I don't know, Tracer, like, flanking from here, you know? But it's like, yeah. we, like, we, like, chickened out. It you know? was way too late. I saw a Reaper and I got scared. Yeah, we at this point in time we need to just peace to be honest. Out, 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 out. We're trying, we're trying. That's good. Oh, TP. Yep. I mean, it's 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 ugly as sin, but you guys are trying to like play angles. I really do think Zach, you could be doing a much better job enabling your tracer though. Like th this this wounds me. Oh, just like, oh, like look at look, look at how bad this is. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's on you. That's on you. Um, because you're you're seeing like you're seeing your honor like playing high grounds. Like he's fine. He, he's doing a good job. We we don't we need you. We need you. We need you elsewhere. Um. That being said, your comp is a little bit harder. Third point is going to be a lot better. You can set your honor and spawn. And just like have Kiri, Winston, Sojourn, Tracer play high grounds. It's I'm hoping it will get defense too much. Yeah, okay. Do you guys want to move on to attack? Yeah, I'm giving it. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to find stuff that's going to be, like, quick and easy for you guys, given the short time frame that you have to, like, apply some of this. Just a couple of adjustments that aren't going to necessarily rock your world, but will make everything, like, 5-10% better, or 5-10% easier. I want to be that guy, but you should definitely watch my POV in, like, 20 seconds. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, which which also, POV are you? You're just one of those no, uh, nameless uh, voices. Uh, hmm? Sorry, it's Anna. Anna? Okay. Yeah. Somebody was saying something as well? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was thinking of like some stuff we could improve on, on a team as a team. Yeah? And like just quick, easy things that I thought of were like um calling backline rotations. I think that we could have Zach start doing that. And not necessarily in this comp, but in general. Okay. Because uh, we played some like Ana Lucio. One sure. Time. So you're saying and, calling um, the timing or where you're going, or both? Where you're going. Okay. Like, where you're gonna get to. Okay. Yeah. And um, like, what's it, like set plays and stuff. Like we got pretty good at doing like Maywall Shatter, even though that's not great. But I was just wanted to ask if there's any like other set plays. That we could do well we just talked about this with the sniper duels right like you guys use yeah, your brains yeah. here right like obviously if we just ignore macro because you, you'd actually be surprised at like the number of owl teams that I, I at least i believe a lot of contenders teams that don't have like a set macro so much as set plays um mm -hmm. so like they like all they're thinking is like hey let's just get on in a good position go for nade backline and just everybody jump in you know what i'm saying um or like, I'm gonna set up my Sojourn Kiri on a flank. Like they, they might understand the macro of why that works, but they're not like obsessed with like, guys, let's take up angle control, map control, then execute three, two, one. They're just like, hey, let's get my Sojourn in OP position and set up a good E, you know? So then what are your plays, options here? What are your options? I mean, it's pretty obvious, set, nade. Yeah, everybody knows that one. Okay, what else do you guys have? Um, well, like one that I kind of like is pulsing on rotations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for neutral, so I want to see something neutral. Like, right now, what, what are some set plays that you guys could do? Besides nade? Yeah. Uh, but for a pinch, I mean, yeah. I could be with my tracer here. Yeah, yeah. Like, how about how about, how about about tracer gets a deep flank and then we call a 3-2-1? Like, as stupid as, as basic as that sounds, like, sure. You could have your yeah. sojourn. I mean, look at what your sojourn's doing, right? 
I, I mean, I think that's kind of what we do do. I'm like, do do. But, uh... <laughs> really, bro? Really? What a child. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> <That's> I <what I laughs> laugh first. <laughs> <laughs> no, most of the time on this map, I'm just like, backline, walk high ground, I'll help you guys get set up, and then once you guys are set up, look for a dive on backline or something. Right, right. But 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 that you're right. But like if we could take responsibility away from that and like look for those set plays and that's really important. And I think it's 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 helpful like if we know that like on an eight, Sojourn angle, you know, Kiriko angle. Like yeah, honestly, even if like a Kiriko angle, like like Zach, if you know like a really good off angle where you can get like really good spam here, like this then then like go set it up and like we can play around that, you know, three, two, one, go, you know. Um th there's no real limit to who can be like the, the deciding factor here. I think this key thing is that a lot like the sniper duel is like just who's gonna recognize that window. Like right here we have a pretty good set position for a nade, you know, but we also have a really good set position for a tracer pincer and we also have a really good set position for a super super aggressive sojourn angle. But this sojourn angle, this tracer angle and this on an aid are all only gonna work if we actually call it, right? Um like if Sojourn goes by herself here, she can't play by herself here. She's gonna get her head blown off right um that's kind of like the thing this guy sleeps a reinhardt and nades a reinhardt shield and wants me to look at his pov <laughs> <laughs> no way this guy needs a wall and almost dies and wants me to check his pov they did like four people what he did not need four people you need it. Like what is it? Plus. Two? <laughs> this this guy doesn't oh, even know the difference between two and four. It looked more. It looked like oh my like, gosh! Like... College education, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will yeah, say yeah. this: Why does your tracer die? I hate to be that guy, but why does your tracer die? I'm a poet. Oh, I didn't know it. oh, oh, oh. Okay. Don't you dare okay. say anything about ping. Okay. Okay. It was ping. But no, what it was. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest here. It's completely my fault. Uh, I was Thank hard you. focusing oh. the bat. I think if you watch my POV, I think I was tunnel visioning on the Lucio. I mean, this is, well, this is just, by the way, this is just stupid. Like, there's just, this is like the micro play, but nobody's like actually doing anything here, you know? Like, I guess it's like the Lucio, it's like partly, but like to me, it's like, why are you even in the position to shoot the Lucio anyway? Like, he's clearly, he was feeding. He's, no, 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 he's not feeding. Right he now, was. he was. He's no longer feeding. You've done your job. But Congratulations. He's listen, the, he, he's listen, this is done like a, he's Listen! Ugly. He's half. Listen, this is where the mad dog ego comes into play here. Yeah, Hard tunnel vision, yeah, and I died for yeah, it. Yeah. This, this guy, I died this, for it. This this guy wears his like double digit IQ like a badge of honor. Like this, <laughs> the, 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 at the very least, call this because like you know what I'm saying. Like okay, you guys could smell it. If we if if we decide to push her, what would it look like? Lucio dies. Lucio dies. Okay, well, how would it look like from everybody else's perspective besides my feeding tracer? <laughs> If we wanted to fight there, you could, or, right? It'd be monstrous, yeah. but you could. Like your Kiri could walk, your Winston could jump and get like five man cleave. Uh, watch, watch my Ana. Like my Spidey senses are tingling, right? Oh, yeah. It, it wouldn't be horrible. You just have to talk about it. Right, right, Which right. I right. guarantee. <laughs> And I'm so glad Zach streamed this because we can go back and watch it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Either way, either way. My point is, is no, that listen, you... listen. Yeah. Listen, I did, I did call it just in my head. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. This guy. I, well, my that, brain not all the voices are your teammates, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right. But yeah, I mean, it's like the idea is like there. It's just like, ah. I mean, we did get space out of it, so I mean, it's all right. You know, and in the nade, I mean, like, I mean, ironically, like, you guys can kind of see, like, the space that we've taken here. Like, I, these guys are idiots, respectfully. This is like the kind of stuff that, like, I, like they don't know what to do. So you guys are going to win this, surely. Because it maybe, yeah, this is what happens. You get all the space. I'm, I'm gonna die here. Uh, well, you're trolling. Like, well, you're trolling. Look, like, look, like, look, like you're look, actively trolling. Look, 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 Why you have a wall climb? <laughs> like, you, you, you I TP'd did, and then you didn't know. even wall climb up. Well, I thought it was gonna TP up like top, and then I dropped, and then I. Nah. You can tell this guy doesn't play Hanzo or Genji, bro. That's crazy. It's wild, dude. It's wild. Yeah, no, no. Anyway. <laughs> Suzu was also early, could have waited for the Ryan and then booped him away with Suzu. It's fine. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. I could do, but you know. But you guys, you guys get all the positions. Sojourn, Ana, deadlift, so, yeah. I mean, you guys did a good job taking map control away. You guys got the rotation, and then they panicked, and they tried to push people, and then it didn't work, so. 
Watch this. Oh my god, dude, this guy's a weirdo. Nah, nah, my why? blink, my blink messed up too. But why, why is this guy do pushing me? You have me? no recall. Why? Because oh. I thought we were gonna go in. Why? He's like, oh, it's Would just you two. Think that? We're he said it, dude. Listen, he said it was bad. I said it was bad and right. And he oh says, oh, okay. My god. Well, I thought we were gonna go in. Okay. Well, then, okay. Okay. And then my recall. That was a good sleep. For a split second, I thought the Tracer was gonna live. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> that was some sh some of the shots of all time. Um, <laughs> nah, this is fine. This is we're we're doing a good job. Like honestly, like we we did such a good job taking their angle, like taking the map away. I mean, it's a lot easier in first point, but you guys did a good job. Yeah, a Thank lot of you. the issues do come, like, uh, joking as I, like, are gonna come from, like, those, those, my, like, calling those micro plays first off, and then, like, actually trying to synchronize that pressure as best as you can. Um, I mean, respectfully, even here, right? It just, it's just not good. Yeah. It's just not yeah. good. Like, we're just not set up for that. Like, you, you think about all the ways that we could do this. Like, to me, it's like, there's so much opportunity. Like, if we gave it time, we could have Kiri with Tracer TPing behind, sneaking up behind from here with a Nano, and like, ah, oh, it's just... We have to be disciplined. Everything is disciplined. Now, I will say that theoretically, this should still get kills. Oh, this should not be even this close. Like, there's no way that you guys should be, like, like Nano Primal and Batiste doesn't die. There's just no way. And I speak from experience here. I've played the Reinhardt side of this thing. So when they have Nano Primal, you're baptized. He's done. And this isn't mechanics. This is timing. This is timing. Yeah. We just have to get this right. So so I guess, if nothing else, some new stuff, but also just a kick in the pants. You know? Oh, by the way, here, this is where, like, Mad Dog... Mad Dog needs to be in a hard flank, again, with Tracer. Now that might mean that my Ana has to play really, really safe, but she has to play really, really safe anyway. Having a Kiriko with her doesn't change that fact. You guys know what I'm saying, right? Like it, it doesn't. Like you're, you're, you're kind of like at a high risk regardless. Um, especially um, if you can find their tracer, and your Kiri can keep you to it, then you're not only protecting your Ana, you're also controlling the flanks as well. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. I mean, this is okay. This is okay. We'd just like it better if we had kind of synchronized our pressure a little bit more. Because remember, like, our monkey's still the guy, you know? So, like, what would you, what, what would we do here? If we're, like, synchronizing a perfect, like, little cute little retake here. What do you guys think? I think we send carry, chaser, top. Yep. And then wait for them to set up by the little, like, the back right area. Yep. Once they're set up, monkey jump, everyone will shoot. Yep. You could also just have your monkey jump to, like, here. You know? And then kind of, like, wait in and drop and push. And it's all right. Because then they can't really, like, flip map on you guys, even if they try and chase down your Ana, because you're just going to start c 9 cart. Um... Yeah, I, I think like if we're just using our Kiriko a little bit better, like as a plus one instead of just the Kiri itself, I think we'd be in a lot better. Cause you're you're getting nervous. Like we, we our Kiriko can't like sit still. She's like trying to go do stuff, but then she's doing stuff by herself. So it's not as much pressure as you could. And then the other problem as well is the angles that you're taking are really easy to clear. Like this is too easy to get rid of because it's too close. You know what I'm saying? You're not playing in a double sniper. You can't play at this range. You see how easy it is to get rid of you? Yeah. Right? If you're playing here with your tracer, like up here or here, it's miserable. Like really truly miserable to get rid of you. Even just like five, ten meters longer. Um and then obviously we go from there. Um ults wise, just take angles, then try and focus like the weak point. I think if your BAP is like always a good target, I think BAP is always like the weakest part of brawl comps in versus dive. He should always dive. I mean, yeah, you, like even just a beat right there, it's like it's over. Um, the only thing that you guys have to understand is that, like, from here, it's like it's always expecting the response, right? Like, where's my sojourn shift? Um, honestly, maybe they just get pincered on, so like that's fine. But then for like my honest standpoint, 
just know that, okay, they're going to be going in with Ram. Nicely, just run. That, that's honestly not, not a horrible trade. It might also be worth considering trying to rotate to top with your Ana as well. That's also not a bad idea either with your Sojourn too. There's not a lot they can do about that. So maybe optimally five man rotate top, Kiriko Tracer deep in, Winston comes from top and jumps, um, like maybe drops and jumps across to here on a Sojourn stay top. You guys see what I'm saying? Yeah. I think at some point we do try to do that. Yeah. Because their comp doesn't have any verticality besides Reaper TP. Ah. Yeah, it looks like it. But on, the problem here is obviously the cards C9 so far. And then obviously if anybody, Ana should probably be trying to rotate. Um, like Ana needs kind of like a buddy. Just because if you leave her by herself for this long, then she can get pick pickled out. And then obviously even timing here. There's no reason for my Ana to be peeking here, right? Ana, you would be hiding, waiting three, two, one, and so on. Make sense? Yeah. The funny thing is, is even if you guys mess up the timing here, but this, but you were able to TP there faster, the Lucio Tracer probably dies. Like you're a really, really strong two v two combo, especially if you have your cooldowns. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I don't, I don't want to harp over too much here. Let's, let's, let's. Do, do there any, do, okay, let's put it this way. Do you guys have any specific questions here? Because we've kind of gone meandering on, on different discussion points here. And I want something actionable for you guys. Do you have you guys any specific questions? Maybe, uh, I don't know if I'd say specifically with the Ana Kiri, but if we're going like Lucio Kiri versus yeah. their comp or something like that, a lot of times I really struggle versus the Reaper because I feel like, like he's just stuffing me and I can't do anything. Is yeah. it okay for me to like put my tracer on Reaper duty or something? Is that what should be done? Like clearing like... Reaper or shooting Reaper? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Reaper, I think, is, is a priority target if you ever end up playing versus a Reaper. If you, get, you either avoid the Reaper or you focus the Reaper, there's, not, there's never any in between. Um, if, he, if he is able to shoot people, he just does too much damage. Um, so, like I said, on a map like this, um, Reaper's not bad because of the shorter ranges. But, like I said, either you're playing your entire dive around avoiding the Reaper, like clearing their Sojourn, forcing the Kiriko TP, um, and so on. Or everybody, or, or you're focusing the reaper. There's there's never any in between. Um, I don't know. I did a I did the scrim analysis of East Bronza and it was Saints versus Glads. That scrim leak, remember that where Glads got their teeth kicked yeah. in, and <laughs> basically Dante was just like trading front lines with Kevster on Tracer and Saints on Reaper, and it was he was just feeding. He was just yeah. feeding. So what you need to do is if you're in a composition like this, like let's say you're in a dive mirror and they're on Reaper. If you're not, I don't even necessarily know that I would be trying to like trade front lines at all versus that comp. Um, okay. I would try to be like actively diving in aggressively onto like Kiri or Sojourn and force their, cause like part of the reason why teams traded front lines in the grand finals was because they were playing not versus a Reaper, but because they were playing with a Reaper. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And there's no point diving because all you did was you force Sojourn Shift and Kiriko TP and then you leave your Reaper exposed. So what you do is you, you that doesn't apply if you're playing Tracer. So what you do is you dive their Sojourn, you dive their Kiriko, you force their Shift, you force them to move and rotate, give your Tracer an opportunity and make their Reaper chase you. You want their Reaper to chase. Yeah. You don't want to present value to him. You know what okay. I'm saying? So I yeah. would say be a lot more proactive with like actively diving and honestly guys that all, that even applies to your kiriko tp as well don't be scared to tp in with your winston when he does that and and dare their winston to counter dive because they're like oh shoot he's going to counter dive me and I'm, I'm not going to have my tp yeah but he's not going to have his reaper mm -hmm. okay, you see what i'm saying so then so go ahead that would look like because because you'd probably just win if their team all stacked together yes like, that's really bad yeah so let's let's say they do do that though. I would just play slow and let my team take angles. Right, just... right. If they're all stacked, your tracer and your sojourn and your Kiriko should be doing more take, be doing more damage. Yeah. Like specifically your sojourn. Specifically your sojourn. Okay. 
Yeah, because I can't just jump into that. Yeah, yeah. Because the advantage but... of Tracer is that theoretically their sojourn um, can get her shift force without you having to even dive her with Tracer. Mm -hmm. Theoretically. But if they play it smarter with, like, let's say it's the, the finals meta with, like, Reaper, Sojourn, Monkey, and the the Monkey, Reaper are playing together really close, and the rest are a little split, I would just go hard for the carriers. Sojourn. Yes, you go for the split. Okay. Yeah, you go okay, for the splits. Yeah, go let your let your team, because remember, you, there's nobody you need to babysit anymore. Your Lucy should be able to take care of himself. Your Kiriko should be able to play care, take care of herself. Um... And actually, you open up your Kiriko to be a lot more um, free if you avoid their Reaper because you're not taking as much damage. Um, so your Kiriko doesn't have to babysit you, and then therefore you don't worry about her. She doesn't have to worry about you. Um, yeah. Teams tried Tracer in the Grand Finals meta a lot. It just didn't work out so well because this was pre-buff Tracer. Um, and also, so Kiriko was so OP at that point in time that like you just basically heal botted build ult and that was basically it and then when you were playing around kiriku ult tracer did jack all um yeah. reaper was busted and um suzu was just honestly tracers didn't know how to play around suzu i'll be honest with you guys like pulse palm just constantly got cut off yeah. but 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 now like you've got a buff tracer you've got a significantly nerfed nerfed um kiriko ult and healing and whatever so like i i actually think the tracer variant on, on really in every situation is better um i think reaper looks okay in some maps like you think like a coliseo like it's, it's hard to set up those off angles on that choke right mm -hmm. reaper definitely has an advantage in that first fight but as that map expands and if you're like able to avoid him and like you said just like if they're all clumped up just don't take don't trade hp don't trade hp or jump on their back line but don't like don't jump on their back line jump behind the back line make them chase you right um awesome. Just play hard to get, and then your your sojourn, your tracer, your curie should just be able to. Even if it's not even like picks, you'll just your tracer will do more damage than the reaper. Okay, she will. Yeah. It's hard to do, but that's you're 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 going. Think about it like you're going back to die fundamentals, right? You're going back to die fundamentals. Like what makes Winston good is it's not trading front line, you know? Yeah. Okay. Any questions, guys? Any other questions? Um. So what I'm hearing is my carry just plays more with me because I swear in that comp I don't like on attack. I don't think I was getting like any sort of value. Whenever, whenever she can, yeah. Whenever, whenever you're playing on a Kiriko, yeah, you, you generally want to, um, because it's it's a two for one. You know, she gets to take the aggressive angles you take to do her own damage, and she can also heal you, which means then you can do more damage for longer and 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 so on. Yeah. I okay. like Kiri playing with a Tracer instead of having to TP to the angle later because that means that she can save her TP and Suzu just in case she needs to bail out her Ana. Yeah. Any other questions, y'all? Okay. Nothing? All right. Well, definitely a little more like a traditional VOD review, I guess, in terms of just like information and, and tips and tricks and some guidelines. Like nothing super, super heavy, but I think that was kind of what we wanted to aim for given the time frame that you guys have um to make the state the obvious here that there's like a lot of information said here a lot of like bite size information i guess so i would just focus on taking like what the easiest or the most impactful thing is and then how many more scrims do you guys have before the tourney we'll have two three more, three three more scrims and one match yeah so so you guys have a few blocks to, to test and try things out um you know, sniper maps, you know, you have, I mean, remember the Ana Kiriko, a lot of the stuff that we gave wasn't just versus the Brawl Mirror. It's just like, it's good just to know, even in the Dive Mirror. Uh, so just keep working at that. Keep working at the timing. Pick one thing, pick something simple and just try to execute on it. And um, yeah, see if you can at least be thinking about it a little bit more so that by the time the match rolls around, you'll be able to execute on it a little bit better. Make sense? Yep. Sir, yes, sir. Yep. All right, y'all. I know it's late, 